Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the cream of the crop, the absolute best production coach you can buy, and it only MSRPs at one million dollars. This is the 2023 American Coach Eagle model 45K. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, and then we're gonna give you three things we love about the American Coach and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be showing you guys the American Coach. This is a full walkthrough of this 2023 beautiful motorhome. Before I begin, we gotta say hi to our American Coach expert, it's Tommy! Happy to be here. What's going on, Mr. Tom Bennett? Very excited to be doing a video on one of my favorite motorhomes in the world here, the American Eagle 45K. Not only is the floor plan perfect, but it has every feature you could possibly imagine in one of the best built RVs in the world. It's the American Eagle. Now, who is American Coach before we begin? Well, American Coach, they're built in Decatur, Indiana, and they've been doing motorhomes now for 32 years. Okay. Um, they previously, uh, I guess they had Fleetwood, but they added their top end model American Coach brand um, 30 years prior to 2021. That's when we had our 30 year anniversary. But, nice. Um, what's very unique about this, this vehicle is the chassis itself. It's one of the only brands that does a modular uh, monocoque style chassis, a lot like you'd see in a Prevo bus or a Newell conversion, something like that. It's an amazing ride with a vehicle that has features and quality that you just don't see anywhere else. So we're really excited to see it. Great, we'll take a look at that monocoque chassis in just a few moments. But Tommy, great to have you back. Let's begin. So starting out from what you can see here, you have your beautiful paint job. You have the top down mounted mirrors, which I think just gives it an amazing look. Of course, this is a pull out tray for your generators, but the actual front cab of this vehicle has a, a great, very strong look on the road. Um, one thing I want to point out right here, this little sensor. Um, what that is, is the sensor that creates um, Freightliner's on guard technology, which is an adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation, and safety awareness package that just makes driving this vehicle very automotive, a lot like what you would see in a car. I love the front headlight design, that grill. It's absolutely beautiful with those mirrors like that. Tommy, models 45K, the actual tip to tip length is 45 feet long. This sits on a custom Freightliner chassis. We're gonna go over that in a minute. But this has the Cummins ISX 15, 605 horsepower, 19 pound feet of torque. Tell everybody what that means. Well, with 1950 torque, what that means is that you can tow heavy weights behind you, up to 20,000 pounds, and really not have to strain your engine too much. So if you're in the mountains, you have some weight behind you, whether it's a car, a stacker trailer, or anything like that, you're gonna be able to stay at a low RPM and cruise control and just cruise right on up the mountain. So it adds a level of comfort to your drive that you just don't see with the ISL motor. Perfect. Coming on down, what do we got going on here? Well, you have an airlock torque a little bit more uh, rectangular than you see a lot with the rounded doors that RVs typically have. When you close this and you flip the switch inside, I'm actually going to have to unlock this. But this will actually um, air suction itself in just to prevent wind noise and also give you a little bit tighter of a, a station. And then look at these steps. Tell me about those steps. Well, these steps come down, they lay flat, and then come out this way, which gives you a little bit more luxury to what you have here. It's also a very stable step. And with the way that it sits up, it doesn't leave this big open area as far as um, when your RV is just sitting uh, normal. Plus, it has this chrome strip that goes all the way down. It's just a luxury feature, I think, yeah, that looks beautiful. Perfect. Okay, so moving on down the line here. Hang on a second. Look at these tires, Tommy. They're the Michelins. I love those. 365-70 R22.5 with these shiny Alcoa rims. So new for 2023 model year, they actually changed the front axle. Prior to this, it was a 17,000 pound front axle. 2023 models and up are gonna have a 20,000 pound front axle as well as having a 365 tire. So that's just gonna add even more stability and comfort to your front end. And it's independent front suspension? It's independent front suspension with a 60 degree wheel cut on the biggest tire, the heaviest axle you can get. I mean, you really can't beat it. Make sure you guys stay to the end because uh, we're actually gonna drive this motor home and we're gonna see that wheel cut for sure. 
Now, what do we got coming on here, Tommy? Well, something that's important to note as we start to look underneath the bays here is that you don't have a, uh, a fuel tank right here in the middle. Most RVs, whether it's a Spark chassis or a typical Freightliner chassis, are going to have a fuel tank right here in the middle. Correct. Whether it's 100, 150 gallons. When they do this Liberty chassis here, which is a custom-made chassis, they move the fuel tank to the middle. And the reason why they do that is because it adds a better weight distribution for the vehicle. And whether you have a full or an empty tank doesn't change your ride up front. It adds a stability and consistency to your ride that is just, uh, but what's the only thing like? Man, I really wish we had a strip chassis here at the dealership so I knew what you were talking about. We do have one and we'll probably take a look at it. Yeah, we'll be taking a look at that in just a few moments. We're going to take a look at all this storage. Look at this electric slide out tray. Electric slide out trays. You have two full pass throughs with that Liberty chassis. You have a very tall pass through area. Also, you can see that this is steel lined. It also has the fiberglass built into it so you can spray this clean if you want to. It's just a very comfortable setup. So, so nice. Same with electric here and spare tiles. Spare tiles that come with the RV, electric just as well. As you come to this middle piece, your fuel tank is actually mounted behind this. It's a 150 gallon diesel tank. And then this is the hydraulic reservoir that operates your hydraulic system for leveling and then your hydraulic slides. Tell me a little bit about slide outs. First, hang on, TV right here. Yes. Look at the windows, how they continue the graphics there. I love that. But why is, why is this slide out so much smoother than other brands? Well, most brands are gonna have a slide out that has a, a piece that comes out on the outside and then sits flat against it. Um, whereas this is gonna be an inserted piece here. So it's very smooth, very flush. Um, also with the way they do the window treatment there, they're trying to make this as smooth and flush as you can imagine. Now, if you look at where your TV is here, this is a TV, there's also a, a Bluetooth sound speaker Bose that's built into that. There's no buttons on this. They right. try to make this very smooth and sleek as opposed to having lots of you know, latches and handles and buttons and things like that. It just gives it a much better look. For sure, for sure. I'm loving it. So hydraulic reservoir for your leveling right there. If we open this one up, you can see that this has your battery package upgrade. These are lithium batteries, they're wow. Dragonfly batteries, and you have eight of them, 100 amp hours a piece. This is an incredible setup as far as RV power goes. Um, 800 amp hours of power with the lithiums, you can go from 800 to zero, and uh, that's just an incredible amount of power you have there. Love that. Here, this is where your um, your actual water tanks are mounted. So you have 100 gallons of fresh water, 75 gallon gray tank, 50 gallon black tank, um, but they're mounted just behind this. They use this extra area here to install a few other items such as your automatic transfer switch, solar charge controller, and some other electronic components. Good use of space. I also like how smooth these doors close. You know, you know sometimes they're not as easy to operate as this. I mean, you can just... Yeah, no, people know. Sometimes I'm slamming them doors. So this drive axle is a 24,000 pound drive axle. It's the biggest V-Ride that Freightliner makes. And then you also have the steerable tag axle here in the back, which is a 14,000 pound steerable tag. They come at 10,000 and 14,000 pounds. Of course, with the American Eagle, you're gonna have the best of the best. And then one more door here. One more door here. This one has a button on it. I'm gonna point this out for you because it opens up that piece in the back. Oh, wow back there you can always just push this button and operate that as you see fit. You have your chassis batteries, your def tanks right here, air dryer, a couple chassis components for maintenance that you need to keep an eye on. Now Tommy I really want to see what's underneath there and I want to see the strip chassis so let's kick it over to that and then we'll finish up the outside. Okay guys, I think it's just so cool that we have this real chassis here. It's an American Coach Liberty chassis and this just happens to be the SL605 chassis, which means that it has the big 15 liter, 605 horsepower, 1950 for torque engine. It has your 4000 series Allison transmission, steerable tag, tag axle, you have the 24,000 pound V-Ride, and then up front, you have the 20,000 pound independent front suspension system, the ZIFS system by Freightliner, which turns it 60 degrees. The combination between your, your front axle and that steerable tag is what they call ultra steer, which gives you a 17% better turn radius as it would compare to a comparably sized coach. So this is the chassis that the American Eagle sitting on? Yes, this is an American Eagle chassis right here in the flesh. What makes it unique on top of those components we just discussed is the actual framework. Now, what you typically see is a chassis that's braced. You'll have two C-channel rails that go front to back. 
and then they'll add some extra steel here and there to brace that up. What makes American Coach different is that this is built, not braced. This has I-beams in place of C-channel rails, which are 30% stronger for your torsion resistance as far as this coach goes. This is a heavy vehicle. It's 45 feet long. When you go on a turn or something like that, coaches have a tendency to bend. These I-beams won't bend the same way that a C-channel rail will, and it makes your coach over time stronger without those twists and turns that cause leaks, that cause things to separate themselves from other places. This construction that you see here is top of the line as far as stability and quality of construction comes. And then you're talking about the fuel capacity being in the middle. Part of designing your own chassis means you get to customize things that make it more um, comfortable to ride, such as 150 gallons of fuel which is brought from all the way up front, which is what a chassis, chassis typically has to right here in the middle. That difference of nearly a thousand pounds being in the middle as opposed to up front creates much better weight distribution and consistency and stability in your drive. Another thing they do is your wedge design for your tanks. Why yeah. would they do that? Well, it gives you more space for the amount of space that is being used, plus they're, they're wedged in and then tilted, so they drain faster too. You have 100 gallons of fresh water, 75 gallons of gray, and a 50 gallon black tank, and it just fits right in where it's supposed to. As you move to the back, this is a 24,000 pound V-Ride axle right here, and then a 14,000 pound steerable tag axle here in the back. That V-Ride adds extra roll stability to your RV. So if you go over a bumpy area, instead of teeter-tottering like this, you're just going to level straight out. It makes a big difference to your ride quality. Dev tank on this side, although you have a fill for it on the other side. Look at the size of that engine. Hell yeah, America! This Red, white, and blue! This is the X-15. It's got the most torque, most horsepower, most reliability of any engine you can find. And it's right there at the back of this American Eagle. So as we move along to the back, you have some of your uh, maintenance height, um, systems right here at the end. You have the access to your fan belt built in because you have a side radiator on this X-15 SL605 chassis. As we move around to the back, look at the size of this radiator. Mm. All that power, you need a lot of cooling, you got it all right here. Final question, why would somebody want a side mount radiator opposed to a rear radiator? Well, the reason a side mount mount radiator came into existence at all is because it's larger and it doesn't fit on the back so they put a larger side radiator here which gives extra cooling for that big engine that you have um, also it doesn't suck anything up into it you know radiator brings in air and being in the back they've had a tendency to pull up like if you got a fuel leak or a uh, oil leak it would pull up into your radiator then you got two problems being mounted on the side like this doesn't have that issue at all. And it makes it easier to access your maintenance items to check your oil levels and such. Perfect, Tommy. Thanks so much. Let's kick it back over to the Eagle. All right, one thing I want to point out here is that this does have brake sync, which is a freight liner component that allows for an air assisted tow system. This comes built in with this chassis. So if you do choose to do an Air Force One or similar air assisted braking system it just hooks right up and that comes standard with freight line chassis line. and a 20,000 pound towing capacity no ladder to get up on the roof it is a one-piece fiberglass roof yes three ac units solar on the roof solar satellite you have your cell booster built in up there you also have a um oh, i think that's it side mount radiator which side we looked radiator. at you also have a, a uh, driver's side death fill potable water fill right there for potable. fresh water tank potable <laughs> all right right here i want to point out that you have a power electric and a power water room love that so that just saves you a ton of space you also have a built-in macerator here a black tank flush and a gray tank flush yes whole house water filter everything's very easy to get to right here very comfortable and easy to use this is your aqua hot now this is the 600d aqua hot system. Mm. you don't see this in pretty much anything else what makes the 600d unique as it would compare to the 450 is this that this has two electric heating elements which means that if you're on shore power you can heat the whole rv uh tankless hot water heater um, and, and for heating without having to use any diesel at all wow so it's very efficient it's very comfortable to use it has a huge um, element built in there so you're never going to run out of hot water or heating love that just a little extra storage here. You have your Dirt Devil for your central vacuum system. This is one of your fuel fills. You have one on each side um, for that 150 gallon fuel tank. Yep. Um, buttons on this side too. Just like that. For both of these pieces. Perfect. As we move up to the front, 
Uh, actually, while we're here, if we can take a look at the side here, that is a power window on it. Okay. So the control port's inside. You can always just put that out to keep it over these window awnings right here. And then just to the right of that, it actually has another camera part that's part of the 360 camera system. Perfect. Well, Tommy, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right, made in America. Dude, I just love the headlight design. This is truly luxurious. All right. Um, cargo carrying capacity, 9,563 pounds. We're gonna walk in here. Mm -mm -mm. Perfect. Look at this. Plenty of walkway with driving down. I got windows here and everything. Nice dinette, beautiful cabinetry, solid surface. Back here, we do have a bathroom. All right, half bath, and then this goes back to the main bedroom, which the lights are off, and then a huge master uh, bedroom there. Tommy, we gotta get the slide outs open, but first, do you mind hopping in the driver's seat, taking around, taking us around for a little trip? Let's do it. I gotta close some doors out here, but okay. let's go for a little spin. Perfect. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV Life. So first discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular trip planner. That software is amazing. It's gonna tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven-day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven-day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Buckled up. So Tommy, what are you doing right now? Right now I'm adjusting the, the pedals, the steering wheel, so the way I like, which is really convenient. Not the tallest guy on the planet, so. Okay, so gotta, you're adjusting the steering wheel, but also the pedals? Yes, the pedals are adjustable as is the steering wheel, and it's not just something you move around. It's actually a mechanical adjustment, which is really convenient. See how this thing is moving right here? Yeah. Um, also, everything is very easy to see. Your mirrors are perfect. I can see exactly what's going on with my OptiView digital dash here. Very comfortable steer, uh, seat very comfortable uh, arrangement all together you ready to take a ride yes sir all right let's go okay, let's make sure i got this oh parking brakes up yeah wow very easy to see everything that's around us here so where do you want to park this thing well we'll just drive to the end of the dealership and we'll turn around all right that sounds good It'll be pretty nice to do a, a full U-turn with this thing. It's 45 feet long, but with the uh, Ultra Steer, steerable tag axle in the back, independent front suspension up front, this really turns on a dime. And Tommy, it's awfully quiet in here. Why is that? Well, I mean, they have some extra padding and um, I, I guess, um, I, I guess ways they quiet down the engine and the road noise from getting to you. You have an automotive glass up front, so it doesn't have the same wind noise you'd get in a normal RV. Um, and plus the engine's in the back. There's right. really not a whole lot to make noise up here. All right, and I'm going to hop out when it's time to do a U-turn, just so we can see you doing the U-turn from the outside. Okay. It is pretty quiet up here. The only thing I hear is the generator, and that's barely that's not the, at all. Yeah, no, I, I'm hearing the air more than the generator. Check out the 360 camera right there. Oh, nice. So you can see what's going on around you at all time. That. Perfect. Let me hop out here. All right, let's give you a little break. All right. All right. 
ready. Whip it. Whip it hard, Tommy. All right. We're doing this all in real time. Yeah, is it turned all the way? See, see that rear tire, how it's turning in? Amazing. <laughs> We're going. Keep coming. Wow. Wow. You can even see the little, hello, Tommy let us in. There we go. Tommy, that was some tight turn in there. All right. What else did you feel on the drive? Well, it's just smooth, it's quiet. Um, plus it zeroes itself out. And that's part of the select drive that they have for the hydraulic steering system. Explain what that there. means. So it's an adjustable steering effort system, which allows you to either control it with just the tip of your finger or um, it has the function of zeroing out. So if I have a turn like this, I can let go and it's going to zero itself out just like this. Wow. So what that does for you is it makes it a lot easier to drive without all the hassle of fighting the wind, fighting um, anything like that. Perfect. It just makes it very simple. Perfect. Effortless. Let's, effortless. Let's get these slide outs open and then show everybody the inside. Tommy, that was an excellent test drive. Now that the slide outs are already open, you can see this is a huge motorhome. I mean, the 45K has always been my favorite floor plan and it has a few things that just make it truly unique. I mean, not only does it have a great living area, a wonderful kitchen with the whole wraparound uh, U-shaped kitchen setup, but it has dual vanities, it has the back closet, it has a huge bedroom. I mean, really this floor plan has it all. Well, we so can't wait to see it. What features did we not touch on in the cockpit area while we were driving? Um, we talked a little bit about the OptiView, the collision mitigation system. This has both the OnGuard technology through Freightliner and Mobileye, which is a very unique setup. You do have a power window um, and a very comfortable seat. One thing unique about this seat um, is that this has um, an air cooling system, it's a heated seat, and it also has a massage element. Oh yeah, bro, only in America. Might as well. I mean, this is the American Eagle, you might as well have a massager in there. Plus, I, you can't really see it from the video, but this is just very comfortable leather. Very high quality, very comfortable, very smooth. Everything up here is just very nice. Both seats will have become part of living area? Yes, they do. Both seats turn around and both have footrests. Yep, and this one um, does have a cover for the stairwell. That's what do we got going cover. on up here? Well, you have some of your slide controls right here as well as your king jack system little extra storage here all lined in that ozai material to keep things nice and quiet these are all solid wood and they just feel nice i mean they're heavy duty all the way around um, as you go around here yes sir extra storage all the way through um, this is a stock unit so we have been ordering them without the front tv most people don't get the front tv so we found that the extra storage is really something that is more desired so that's how we've been ordering all of our units. Now, Tommy, you're saying this is a stock unit. What percentage of customers are custom ordering these? I'd say um, probably 50-50, but there's just such a price advantage to taking a stock unit that a lot of folks can find something within our inventory that works for them, at least close enough. And the amount of money you save by doing so is just really nice. And just want to let you guys know, we do have something called the American Coach Experience, which uh, we'll show everybody that at the very end. But when you come to General, I know everybody wants to work with Tommy, but even if Tommy's busy, we have select salespeople that only sell the American coaches and you truly get the experience. They can go over everything with you. So if you, if you want to get exactly what you want and you don't want to save money, 
you know, the American coach experience. Now we can still give you a great deal on an order. Uh, okay, okay, good, good, good. Especially if we take one of our units that are already ordered for us and just make adjustments to it to fit your preferences. Perfect. We can certainly make that work out for you. But here in Tampa, when you come to visit us, we have our design center, which is this huge, I guess it's a tiny home. Yeah. So it's a huge, tiny home. Um, that we have here that we have all of uh, different swatches and color palettes and everything else that you can look at in your design package as well as having the chassis here. It's a really great experience and if you're interested in American Coach, you can see every part of what brings that whole ownership experience together. Not only that, Tommy, I mean, um, you guys have, not you guys, we have the traditions, the dreams, and the eagles all in inventory so you can see them, touch them, and feel them. Let me do a little bit of the living room, okay? So uh, chime in anytime. So right over here, we do have some nice upper cabinetry. Check out what we got there. Come on, Tommy. Come on, Tommy. T -t take a look at it. Look at all that nice hardware there. Very nice. We have a sound system above. We do have solid surface countertop here. Nice window with a very nice... <laughs> tower of power? Yes, tower of power there. We got an electric TV. We're gonna have, sh have Tommy show us that in a second. But I'm sitting here, Tommy, and I'm feeling comfortable. You know what I'm saying? This is very, very nice. Um, just a really nice sofa with a pull-out sofa, you know, or a, a pull-out bed in the sofa. Then directly across, we have nice balances. Right over here, Tommy, we do have electric recliner seats. Oh, there's even a head recliner here as well. Lights, USB, little tabletop, remote holder here. Anything I'm missing? No, I don't think so. Very comfortable. And again, we're looking directly across. Show us the TV, sir. We're looking directly across at the electric TV. So just like that. Now, one thing I want to point out is that all of the countertops in the whole RV are Cambria quartz. Most RVs just have some sort of Corian. Um, only the American Dream has granite. Pretty much RV industry just uses Corian, but this is actual Cambria quartz. It's a much higher quality material. It's stronger, it's more dense and heavier, um, but it also is more resilient. So this isn't something that's gonna get scratched up. It also has just a wonderful look to it. So um, we actually did a training session up at the Cambria uh, factory, and I just thought it was an incredible comparison as most RV um, most RVs have. Perfect, the TV does go all the way up higher. Now but the kitchen in this vehicle is just amazing. You have this wraparound piece, and a lot of RVs have that pull-out drawer. This is a fixed piece. So it has that waterfall edge, which gives it a great look, but more importantly, it gives you more storage. So as that would compare to a, a typical pull-out, you've got this huge storage area here. You've got this big storage piece underneath, and it's just a lot more functional and useful. Um, that you typically get. Plus, you have all of this counter space. Yes, sir. These pieces with your, um, it's like a recessed induction cooktop. How heavy Holy is that thing? crap. Yeah. Very heavy, very dense. You can see the quality that's within that Cambria quartz there. That literally has to be 20 pounds. It probably is. Yeah, you can definitely feel that that's good material. You've got your dishwasher here on the bottom. You've got a drawer right here, huge drawer. Show us that test washer, sir. Probably gonna have to. Oh, there we go. It, it is the knock lock. It's the knock lock, but it's already unlocked. That's pretty convenient. Huge basin style sink here. Right? Hang on. Really nice. Really nice. There's an American Coach owner's manual. Thank you, sir. We got a convection oven. Nice storage there. Very nice. Very, very nice. Huge basin style sink here. There's also a couple pieces that can make this even more functional and useful to use. You have some stored. Actually, that one's fixed. All right. And then there's place to store your uh, top cover and everything. Right behind you here. Nope, we'll do the fridge real quick. Okay, what's unique about this fridge, obviously, it's the fanciest fridge in the world. Yeah. So you can go through here, you can listen. No way, you can do YouTube. Oh. We might have to hook up the internet to do it. Ah, that's crazy. Still pretty. You unique. can watch Matt's RV reviews on your freaking refrigerator. You got the whiteboard? Nice. How cool is that? Um, there's also cameras built into this from what I'm told, where if you're at the grocery store, you can look in here and see what you do and don't have. No way. Uh, you also have this built in, um, they call it a flex drawer, 
but this can be a freezer or a fridge or a wine cooler, whatever you'd like it to be. Okay. Very convenient. And then you have ice and water built into the door as well. Shows that lower one too. So nice, so freaking amazing. And then you even got a pantry right there. With built-in pull-out drawers. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Some extra pull-out drawers here. As All right. we move to the back here, this is our half bath. Hey, Tommy, hang on a second, hang on. Okay. We gotta do this first, then we'll do that. But first, you know what time it is? What time is it? It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Tommy, people, they've seen it, they wanna know the price. You ready for this? MSRP on this motorhome here is $1,079,000. $896. Tommy, MSRP. Current sale price, we have this over $200,000 off to a sale price of $869,995. Tommy, that's a phenomenal price. But correct me if I'm wrong, General RV, especially the Tampa store, aren't they the number one American coach dealership in the country? Yes, we sell, um, I think it's 40% of all American coaches that are made from this location here. And I have sold a few of these in the past couple of weeks or maybe the past couple of months. So what you're saying is, if somebody contacts you, they can get an even better price than that? Absolutely. All you guys gotta do is go to generalrv.com slash matscash, click the link in the bio, that goes to a member of my internet team. They can hook you up with Tommy or you can call Mr. Tom Bennett directly. Tom, how do people get in contact with you? If you would like to contact me, it's either tbennett at generalrv.com or my cell phone number is 561-348-4231. Again, that's 561-348-4231. I'm happy to help you out and answer any questions you have about the American Coach product. Perfect, I have two more questions. Don't we have a brand new 2022 that's a fantastic sale price? Yes, now the 2022 we have is, is actually the same color woodwork as you see here, uh, a, a little different exterior color, but it is a 2022 brand new untitled 45K American Eagle that we have discounted over 40% off to a sale price of $599, an unreal value for an American Eagle. Don't call Tommy to try to negotiate on that one. Negotiate on this one or just buy that one. Or if somebody missed out on that one, there's actually a 2022 American Eagle just traded in. What do we have that one sale priced at? Well, that unit, I, I sold new originally uh, due to some health concerns. We, we've got it back now, but I will tell you that um, that one is listed at 525. It's a 2022 brand new 45G American Eagle. Um, I would show it to you here today, but the, the fellow who's trading it in um, is, um, he still has some of his things in it, so it'll be a couple days. Just give me a call if you'd like to see some more information about Tommy it. Tommy knows how to text. Tommy will text you the pictures. Great, neither here nor there, Tommy. We're always here to get people fantastic deals. Right here, we got great storage. And Tommy, I heard you even pick people up at the airport. Is that true? I've done it before, I'll do it again. <laughs> hey, Tampa Airport, not Orlando. Look at this nice window here, nice countertop there. What's going on with this table? Anything unique about it? Well, this table does pull out and there's two more chairs that match these chairs, although they are folding. Um, one thing great about this table and chair setup is you got tons of extra storage underneath, plus the extra countertop you have up there. Makes it very comfortable. Very nice. And I love how the tiles align perfectly with that slide out. With the hydraulic slides, you have a completely flush floor, and American Coach even goes the extra mile to make these tiles match perfectly. Yep. Right over here is our control panel. What do you want to tell us about this? Well, this is a Firefly design system. Uh, makes it very easy to operate the coach. I mean, you can control all of your blinds here um, in its own setting, all of your lights, slides, awnings, whether it's the exterior window awnings or your actual Gerard awnings, which it has uh, two Gerards. We didn't mention. Back. We, we, didn't we, 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 we didn't even, Tommy, we're, we're sorry. Um, here you can control your floor heat, whether it's the front section or the back section, your aqua hot system, your heat pumps, it's all built in right here. It just makes it very easy to use, easy to operate the RV. Plus, this will connect to your cell phone so you can do it from everywhere. Very convenient. Also, your auto gen start system, you can control everything Dang. here. It's just very automotive and natural. People use their phones a lot nowadays, so there's no reason to have all these situations separated. Yeah, I love it. Coming on in here, we do have storage, not storage, there's your uh, breaker box. 
Okay, right over here we have a nice mirrored medicine cabinet, okay? We do got liquefied, which is our brand of black tan chemical. Guys, go to primepoopposition.com to pick up a bottle. <laughs> it is the absolute best. And it's created by the Matt's RV Reviews team. Nice sink here, a little bit of storage. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right, now I'm sitting here on a porcelain toilet. Tommy, it's tight. Do you see my body touching anywhere? Not touching. This is a prime poop position. Ding! Very nice. And they put the toilet placement paper holder right there, and it is an electric flush system. Show us this bedroom. All right, moving back into the bedroom, I want to point out that you have an actual door here that will be pretty tight. It's closed all the way off, matches everything else, and it's just very sturdy, very solid. Love it. As you go back here, you've got a great amount of storage here. You've got two closets, one on each side, and then nine drawers, three on each side, three in the middle. Open up one of each, right? Because all three are the exact same. Yes, all three are the same. Nice. You also have this. And then there's one more hidden storage area right here. Wow. With a built-in seat. Nice. And then look at the dovetail work on the uh, drawers and everything. Really high end, you know, top of the line. Across from that, of course, you have your king size adjustable bed. You have actual wireless chargers built in. Something unique about this vehicle too is that there are just controls everywhere. I mean, you have this piece here, you've got this touchscreen panel. There's another touchscreen panel right above your bed. Um, this is built in there for the uh, CPAP machine setup, wireless controller here. So nothing was really skimped on. They didn't avoid anything that could have been added. You also have your surround sound built in up here and a camera selector so you can cycle through all of your outside cameras on your TV middle of the night just as an added security feature. Something else we didn't even mention, the blinds are electric. Yes, all the blinds in the whole vehicle are electric. Now something I wanted to point out about this vehicle, I think this is the perfect floor plan for somebody who's going to do long-term camping or even full-time. Um, you have all of this storage here in the bedroom which is just as much as a normal RV has. But when you go back into the bathroom, you also have a full closet, wow. side to side. So your overall amount of storage space here is just spectacular with this side to side closet as well as all of those drawers. Wow. Um, also, you have your washer dryer back here in the bathroom, which is just really convenient. It's stackable. There in the kitchen. It's a stackable Samsung washer dryer. This is an exit door. If you pull this little plug here, this thing will fold down nice and slow so you can climb out of here in the event of an emergency. Um, this one certainly got all the leg space in the world. Hang on a second, let me be the judge of that, Mr. Bennett. <laughs> but here's something that I would say. I love this emergency egress door. Those shelfings doubles the steps when it falls all the way down. Mm -hmm. Now, I will say I don't like the exit sign, so, you know, we could just put some liquefied there. Now, now the ambiance just looks better in the motorhome. You know what I'm saying? But again, you still have this and then you just pop it and then it drops. And again, that is for emergency use. And then, all right, I see what you're saying, Tommy. Plenty of leg space, plenty of arm space. Tommy, you're hundred percent correct. This is also a prime pooping position. Bing! Very nice. I'm loving the sink back here, the nice mirrored. Um, this is the actual type of mirrors that we have at our house, Tommy, that Andrea picked out and mm -hmm. the lights turn on and off or whatever. Nice dual sink here, very nice fixtures. Storage there, thank you, sir. And drawers there, all very, very nice. And In the shower. Yeah. Wrap it all up, Tommy. It's a huge shower, hand laid tile. I love this, you can put your soaps in here. Nice adjustable head, plenty of height. Teak seat here. Oh yeah, that's not moving an inch, you know what I'm saying? Nice flooring and uh, everything looks fan freaking tastic about it. Anything else we're missing in here? I don't think so. I mean, this floor plan really just has it all. It's got a great bathroom, it's got a great uh, bedroom, tons of storage, it's got the kitchen. I mean, the full wall slide. All together, this is just a perfect layout. I've just always loved it. A perfect motor home for some people. And then Tommy, as perfect as it is, as nice as it is, it's time to give people three things we love about it and three things we dislike about it. Tommy, what do we do first? We talk about the things we love. No, let's do dislikes first. 
<laughs> okay, well that's a little bit more difficult here. I have to think about the things I don't that, like. that That's why we gotta do that first. So I actually have the first one, let's kick it over to that. Tommy, dislike number one for me, being a bigger person, me trying to get through this half bathroom is a little tight, you know what I'm saying? Like I can definitely still do it, but it's just tight because you got the door. The doors are nicer than the pocket doors. Just me being a little bit of a bigger person, that's just like number one. But again, you can't have these huge slide outs without the big slide outs coming in. So it's a give and a take. That's just like number one. What's this like number two? Okay, Tommy, that's just like number one. What's this like number two? One thing I dislike is, is this step that you have going up to this piece in the middle. I feel like if that was completely flush, it would be a little bit more functional. Yes. But. No, that is weird. Yeah. And like, there's no reason for it to be a lip. I, I, I can see it being almost like artwork or like, you know, like maybe it looks fancier, but I 100% agree. A nice flush uh, countertop would have just been a little bit better. And well, there is a power outlet there, but like maybe like a wireless phone charger there as well or something like that that'd be pretty cool yeah that's number two and again it's hard hey liz america it's hard to find dislikes when you're at this level you know what i'm saying um but dislike number three tommy for me is going to be this permanent peninsula right i do like the storage but i think it would have been better to have a pullout peninsula that way when you did want it it's there and when you don't want it it goes away but Here's what I will say. This is also a lot sturdier and fancier and more beautiful than a pull-out peninsula to each their own. Great, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. Now I'm gonna switch this one up. I'm gonna let Tommy do all three. Tommy, tell, tell us what you love about this motorhome that people aren't getting on any other motorhomes. You know what I'm saying? Well, I wanna start with the bathroom. If, especially if you're gonna use this full time or for long-term traveling, this bathroom is just spectacular. I mean, you got literally everything. You have a huge shower, the washer dryer back here, the huge closet, uh, dual vanities. I mean, this is just a wonderful master suite altogether. I have to say that is definitely dislike, or I mean, positive like number one. The second thing I wanna talk about is obviously the chassis. This Liberty chassis drives amazingly just that little spin we did around the dealership here yeah was very smooth it was quiet it was comfortable and it just felt so uh, without any effort yeah to turn it was just a wonderful setup there the third thing i would like to bring up here is the technology Talk the tech me. package that you have here is out of this world between the solar the firefly system that you have here the ability to use it from your phone from anywhere it's just very convenient and it just feels natural. You don't really need any training to get started. You can just look right at it and start using it. It's just very user friendly. And I love that about this RV. Tommy, I could not have said it any better myself. Well guys, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you're interested in RVs, go to generalrv.com slash matscash. That's a contact form that goes to my internet team or, or you can call the number 844-969-4033 on any RV. But we have the limited and rare opportunity, not we, you have the limited and rare opportunity to work with Mr. Tom Bennett himself. Tom, what's the hotline? Give me a call with anything that I can help you out with, any RV, whether it's something like this or something very different, I'm happy to help. My cell number is 561-348-4231 and I'll be happy to help. Perfect. Thank you so much for being such a book of knowledge. Thank you so much for uh, helping us with the show. Guys, comment down below. Let us know if you like having Tommy on the show. Let us know if you like these little bit of a longer videos. Again, this is a million dollar motorhome, so we'd love to hear your feedback. And if we get enough smash ups, oh, we might have Tom on the show again. Who knows, I'd love to be here. Thanks again. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.